All right, this one is called Trying to Understand the Fate series. We're getting into Gear 4. Remember, Fate 0 coming up. There's a lot of pre, you know, uh, Fate content that we can farm. Let's see what Giga has to say. Fate Fandom, hello. Hi. Can I help you? Hi. Um, yeah, I was interested in the Fate franchise, and yeah. I heard I could come here for more information. Oh, well, come on in! Make yourself a home! Look, we're always looking for new fans to join our cause, so we're yeah. here to make things as easy as possible. Easy as possible, keyword. Because there's a lot of heated debate on how you're supposed to enjoy the Fate series. So many different opinions. I know that some people are going to get mad that we're going to start with Fate Zero, but I think due to the limitations of... I think that, like, the objective correct way is to watch Fate Stay Night Studio Dean. And then I'm supposed to, like, watch Fate Zero or Unlimited Blade Works. If I watch Fate Zero, that's kind of like... It's a prologue, right? We're starting with the prologue and chronologically, while it might make sense, if I watch Fate Zero first, I'm going to miss out shit that I would have information on if I had watched Fate Unlimited Blade Works, right? So the Fate Zero experience could be enhanced if I watch Unlimited Blade Works first, but also in tandem... Unlimited Blade Works would be better received if I understood what happened leading up to it with Fate Zero. So we're fucked regardless. And it sounds like Fate Zero is, even though it's not the objectively correct, it is practically the better way to appreciate the series due to the limitations of old adaptations of Fate series. You can ask me any question. Okay. You can ask me any question. How much money did you spend to get Stahawk? What's her name? Skahawk? Stahawk? I forget. She is the bodysuit, body spandex girl with lances, right? Spears. I remember pulling for her. I did not get her an FGO. Okay, so where do I start? Accept that question. Where do we start? Is there not a beginning? Do you want the long version or the short version? The short version. Short. So in the beginning, there was Fate Stay Night, which is a visual novel with three different routes. Fate, Unlimited Blade Works, and Heaven's Feel, which... Oh! Heaven's Feel is the good movies, right? The Unlimited Blade Works, I know of it. Because the anime has a U-foldable, but there's just regular Fate? It needs to be played out in that exact order. Now the Fate... So... Three separate ways, okay. Fate Stay Night. But... Is this Studio Dean? So, when you watch Fate Stay Night by Studio Dean, that is the original playthrough, right? Fate. And then Unlimited Blade Works is the one that happened with the Polish Ufotable, and Heaven's Feel is the movie series, yeah? Okay. Order. Now, the Fate route has been adapted once by Studio Dean in 2006 as an okay. anime series. Unlimited Blade Works has been adapted twice, once by Studio Dean. Twice? What? Once by Studio Dean as a movie, and Dean. once by Ufotable as a full okay. series. Who are also adapting Heaven's Feel, but only as a trilogy of movies. But, like, these are different routes in the visual novel, right? They all have their own story and different endings? Only of which one is out at the moment. I thought you were going to give me the short version. This is the short version. <laughs> so technically speaking, anime-wise, the 2016 okay. adaptation is the beginning and serves as a good introduction to the world. And here's the thing, right? There's going to be a lot of sweaty fate people saying, you can't watch Fate Zero first. You're going to ruin it. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing that you don't understand. From a content creating perspective, right? Think about it. There's a reason why Fate Zero won the poll. Do you really think that the 44% of people who's voting out of nearly 7,000 people are down to watch Fate Stay Night Dean? Hell no! The whole point of content creation anime reactions, while th there, there's an overlap, right? There, there's, a, there's a conflict of interest of trying to appreciate the show for what it's got by having the fateful way of watching with Fate Dean. But if I start with this, I guarantee you, like, people won't watch and it's going to be bad for the algorithm. You, I, for whatever reason, people want Fate Zero first. I'm going to start with Fate Zero. I understand that it's not the objectively correct way, but it is in my best interest to start with it. Okay, so why can't I just start with that? Because it's shit. Oh, yeah, in terms of mainline adaptations, only mm. the ones by Ufotable are worth watching. So, I bet, like, people are just gonna vote in Unlimited Blade Works after Fate Zero. I doubt anyone's gonna, wa say, watch Fate Stay Night. But you can't start with Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works because that spoils Fate Zero. What? But, Fate Zero spoils Unlimited Blade Works? 
and vice versa? Zero. What's Fate Zero? Oh, well, it's just a prequel that takes place before Fate Stay Night, and yeah. starts as a good introduction to the world of Fate. All right, so I'll just start with Fate Zero. Yeah. Well, no, because Fate Zero spoils Fate Stay Night Heaven's Field. Oh my God. Well, what are the what what what, what are the odds that we're gonna be watching Heaven's Field, the three movies? It's fucking patron exclusive content. I don't care. We're going with Zero. I don't care. Heaven's Field. Wait, wait. So, in, in in other words, Fate Stay Night spoils Fate Zero. Yeah. And Fate Zero spoils Heaven's Field. Fate Stay Night. Yep. That yeah. makes no sense. Yep. Chicken or the egg? What do you want? Either way, like no one's gonna be everyone. You can't make everyone happy. We're fucked. If we do one way or the other, so we might as well just start with phase zero. That's why you should just read the visual novel. All right, how long does that take? Around a hundred hours. That's a pretty big. <laughs> no, commitment. just read the visual novel. But I no. don't have a hundred hours. Read the visual novel. Can't no. I just learn? read the fucking visual novel. Fuck you! I'm gonna play Fate Grand Order and just read the dialogue. Psych! I just skipped all that shit for the Saint Courts. Or not? I can never agree with myself anyway. Okay. okay well, that's everything. Right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's like just the beginning, right? And I highly doubt other Fate series will get voted in, aside from Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works. Like, I know Fate Apocrypha, there's other side spin off Fate series, right? Because we watched the whole Nosiverse video, and the whole ecosystem is other creators have their own freedom to participate into the Nosiverse by creating their own Fate stories that they get approved by Nasu, right? <laughs> no. There's more. Do you want the long version or the short version? Honestly, the long version. The short? Well, you see, you have Fate Hollywood Attracts here, which is a continuation to Fate Stay Nights, but only okay. exists in visual novel form at the moment with no anime adaptation. Okay. Now, you also have Fate Prototype, which is a reimagining of the whole Fate Stay Night events, but only in a one episode OVA form. Okay, that's an interesting OVA cute. Any more? So that now yeah. Fate Apocrypha takes place in a completely mm. alternate universe, and this includes one anime adaptation and one light novel. Yeah, maybe we could watch Apocrypha after Fate Zero and Fate Unloaded Blade Works, but I highly doubt this would win against the other series. Again, like just because we're getting Fate Zero doesn't mean we're gonna watch every Fate. What matters is you guys vote in the enemies you want. Have you guys even watched Apocrypha? I bet you most motherfuckers that watch Fate Zero have only watched Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works and nothing else. Includes one anime adaptation and one light novel. And of course, there's the Fate Extraverse, which is another alternate universe. And this includes three games, Fate Extra, Fate Extra Triple oh. C, and Fate Extella. It's just a uh, Bride Umu, right? This is uh, Nero. On Valentine's, they dropped the Bride banner. I went hard on it. I got her. It was pretty good for a while, but honestly, the Saber class Umu Nero kind of power crept pretty easily. She was, she was cute though. And Fate Extella, and of course, they also has one anime adaptation in Fate Extra Last Encore. Okay. <sighs> okay. So I'm guessing the only connection with all of these is that blonde chick with the sword. You mean yeah. Saber? Yeah. There's a lot of sabers. Not only regular sabers, there's saber like altars as well. Yes. Oh no, they're totally different characters. Well, you see, the original saber is meant to be King Arthur. Who... Yeah, that's King Arthur, but the one in red is actually narrow, right? Well, you see, the original saber is meant to be King Arthur, who in Fate Law is actually a woman. Now, yes. these other sabers aren't actually King Arthur. They're completely different characters. Who... Yes, they have a similar face because the artist Uchi has the signature saber face. And then one on the right is the son of King Arthur. Don't ask me how this works. This is dad. And this is son. I don't know how it works. Who also happen to be women and also happen to be in the Saber class. Okay, yep. so you're saying that this isn't the original Saber. No. Yeah, Bride uh, Umu. Saber. Nope. This? That's right. Th this is... Diff uh... Oh, fuck. No, this is not Garden of Sinners. Which saber is this? Okita. Where is, where is Okita even from? This? That's right. And everyone here? They're different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is like... I don't know this one. This looks like School Wars. Saber. These are the MK sabers. And this is like Gao saber, right? Like the tiger that goes Gao. I don't know why the fuck that exists. This is like MK something saber ego. This is Summer MK saber or some shit. This is John, Dalt, John, right? This is like 
Saber but lanced and rides on a horse. And Big Booba, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one here, they're different characters and look similar. And these two sabers are also different from each other. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, one's red saber, uh -huh. and the other one is saber of red. Get it? No. Uh, Wait. I don't get it because I never read the lore. <laughs> Simple, and they aren't related to the original saber at all. Only saber of red. You mean the saber that's red or the one that looks like saber? Saber of red. Yes. Right. She's actually the original Saber's son, and Saber- Yeah, I don't know how this part works. This never made sense. Why am I asking, though? Because this is supposed to be King Arthur. Why am I confused that this is the son? But this is dad, and this is son. Uh, King Arthur is her dad. Wait a minute, you, you literally just said her. they were all girls. Yeah, you said it, they are. How does- So it's basically the same as standard Arthurian legend, except this time King Arthur is given a dick by Merlin, who can then be- Nah, bro. It, it, at the end of the day, what do you think is going to sell better? A dude that looks like King Arthur or a waifu that's called King Arthur? I think it makes sense. Forced upon by her wife so she can make a baby and then out pops Mordred as your standard homunculus rape baby. There's no way that's canon. <laughs> oh, it's canon. If you want to learn more about the law and the servants, then the mobile game Fate Go is a good start. Yeah, this is what this is my knowledge of fate, right? All I did was pull for the waifus. I never read the fucking dialogue in the story. I don't have time to fucking read. I'm just here to gamba, but... I am familiar with the characters, but the story, like, who the fuck knows what's going on? Starting point. Um, do I dare ask if I should get into Fate Go? Depends. Do you have piles of money you wish to burn and countless hours to spiral downwards, grinding way- You know, even if FGO did not have a pity system, honestly, FGO... Like, I played it pretty free to play. I pretty much have every unit I ever wanted. I, maybe I had the god FT, F, F free to play account, but I know a lot of people use this FGO as one of the most unfair gotchas. The most, one of the most, like, hardest gotchas to get, you know, fucking resources and get their units. I literally got everything without spending. I have spent, like, probably up to, like, $300, but, like... To be able to secure a banner unit every time within a couple pulls, like maybe I had the god account. I don't know. Do you have piles of money you wish to burn and countless hours to spiral downwards, grinding way in a never ending cycle to satisfy your love for your fate waifus that you'll never ever get back? Mm -hmm. No. You don't want to get into fate, go. I know, of course, there's fate, Kali, and Prisma, Ilya. Oh, yeah! There's like the cute idol shit, right? I hear that these anime idol series, that, sorry, the Prisma series is actually good. Which is a magical girl spin off of the original Fate Stay Night. I don't think I need to watch that. It has lesbian lollies kissing. I think I'll need to watch that. Oh, and fuck, <laughs> yeah, there's also the cookie spin off by Studio Euphoria. <laughs> okay. Basically, the cast of Fate Stay Night. Aside from the lesbian Yuri lollies. I hear there's like some hype tournament arcs. Nice cook food and stuff, and all of this is all part of the greater Nasuverse, which to explain- Alright, stop! Okay? Stop. Mm. This is too much. This is a complete clusterfuck. Yes, and this is the shortened versions. How did this get so out of control? I, I literally have no idea. <laughs> and that is trying to understand the Fate series. The biggest takeaways? Um... You should start with Fate Stay Night. However, due to the shitty adaptation in the past, which is honestly not shitty, but more of better products exist, it's in your best interest to start with, most likely, Fate Zero. I'm going to start with Fate Zero, then we're most likely going to watch Unlimited Blade Works if it makes it onto the poll. Please go give Gigak a like, sub to his channel if you haven't, with your help, he may reach 4 million subs, and I'll see you next time.